Uh, yeah, the first few months with Bohans go were really good. Uh, I feel home in the team and I think uh, at a good start of the season. So, uh, yeah, it's nice till now. Uh, results are good, the uh, atmosphere in the team is good. So, looking forward to the tour. And in which shape do you arrive at the tour, you think? Uh, yeah, for sure I arrive at top shape. Uh, I need to get some results in here and um, yeah, we had a well pre pre preparation with the altitude camp in Andorra and uh, Dauphiné, so I think I should be ready for the tour. Can you compare your shape to like before the Giro last year or is it difficult because it was a completely different season last year? No, I can co compare the shape with uh, last year Giro. I think um, I think it's almost the same preparation with altitude camp, uh, racing and then altitude camp again. So it should be a bit the same, but you know, uh, Tour de France is a bigger race and also different level, more stress. So it's always different uh, different than, yeah. than the other races. But anyway, uh, I feel in top shape and I think I'm ready for the Tour. Mm -hmm. you, you said the Tour is different than other races. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that a little, a little more? Why is the Tour different as a rider? Uh, yeah, the Tour is... The tour is just bigger than the other races. It's more uh, more pressure. It's full in the summer, so everyone is following it. Uh, it's also more stressful. The it's also more controlled. Uh, yeah, it's it's a different racing. Everyone is uh, hundred percent prepared, so it makes also a different race. And so far in, in your career, what's been the result you have you are most proud of? I think last year the Giro was uh, was the result we we're most proud of. Uh, podium in a, in a GC in a Grand Tour is really something yeah, we're proud of and I'm really happy about. So, uh, you have been a pro for almost a decade. Uh -huh. um, what aspects have you improved the most as a cyclist, and how did training? evolve or change since you started your career? Yeah, for sure I'm long already pro, like more almost 10 years. Uh, for sure when you're young you do everything on feeling and you just just uh, do the races on feeling. Um, yeah, when you get older you get know your body better, you know what is working for you, what is working for your body, you need how to cooperate with the people on the team and what you want and what you want to like and to cooperate with the, with the riders. So uh, actually you learn a lot uh, in all those years and that helps also uh, to be in top shape in a big race. Um, you're also more calm and you know what you can do. So. Uh, that's a big difference when when you are younger. You just just follow and just see what is coming out, and you not get used to yeah what you what you should do. And did you look for any particular stages in this year parkour that you have an eye on, or you think you can perform really well? No, for sure. And those Tour de France, the TTs are really important. I think uh, TTs I really like to do and. Uh, yeah, the time trial is something important in this tour. Uh, for sure, the Alps and the Pyrenees are are important. So uh, I look also forward to that. What do you think will be the hardest stage, or is it hard to predict? But just I think uh, um, the Mont Ventoux stage will be super hard, stage eleven, I think, and also the one of the last stage with called the Portet. It's a really hard one. I did a recon of that, and it looks <laughs> feels felt pretty hard, and looks also really hard. So uh. you are a typical GC contender in Grand Tours. Mm -hmm. um, what's the most challenging thing about being a GC leader for a Grand Tour? Mm, the most challenging thing of a GC rider is more to focus, to be focused for three weeks, uh, to stay fit in three weeks, and. Yeah, to perform well in three weeks. It's all everyday suffering. It's a lot of stress and a lot of, um, yeah, uh, pressure. So that's really hard. Uh, you need to be always there, and um, yeah, that's super hard.